Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom. Now, in today's video, we're going to discuss and explore the latest updates, what's happening with Zilliqa and with the Zilliqa ecosystem. There's lots to explore and update you guys on, so stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. Now, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And so, with that being said, guys, let's jump straight into the video and discuss the latest updates. So. As you can see, uh, Zilliqa's price has been hammered by Bitcoin's price recently, which has been hammered by the Silvergate situation, which is not looking good. So it's a California bank uh, operating from 1998 to 2023. Um, so yeah, liquidation, sector turmoil, not looking good. Bitcoin's price has been affected by this. So it's just another situation uh, which is affecting not only Bitcoin, but the rest of the crypto markets, which is in a way not fun to see but uh, again we just need to get through this bear market um you know i think it just goes to show that we're still not out of the woods when it comes to uh, being in the crypto winter being in the bear market it's not fun to see um so it looks like that the civil bitgate bank uh, did not have um a good exposure or had a good exposure to uh, to bitcoin and so therefore um has been affecting them just within fintech itself and just fintech stocks did not do well and so therefore bitcoin doesn't do well and so therefore zilliqa one of my favorite projects out here uh, is not doing Doing well um so you can see here it's currently trading at around 2.2 cent of a dollar i think it's still going down as we speak i mean you can see here live it's not going well so by the time you watch this video i'm sure the the price will be a little bit different but again at the end of the day it just goes to show we're not out of the bear market just as of yet um so we have to you know we have to just sit tight and just see what happens with this and so you have to have that patience in the in the crypto markets especially um but zilliqa itself Putting aside all of the price action, there is some really cool stuff happening behind the scenes at Zilliqa and then also the Zilliqa ecosystem. So let's go through this. It's had a relatively good month of February. Um, you can see here it was in the green for a bit. Um, you see we went around sort of 3.5, nearly uh, 4 cents um, throughout the month of February, which is good to see. Uh, Zilliqa itself is based out of Singapore. There's a lot of good stuff happening over there um, with regards to the laws that Singapore is creating for, for cryptocurrency and then also uh, what's happening with uh, Zilliqa itself. Um, so Zilliqa, as I said, has had a bullish month for February uh, marked by several major announcements and updates. So I'm going to discuss this with you guys in today's video. So it covers gaming, the ecosystem with adoption for it, and also some technical updates, some really cool stuff. Now, this is a thread that we posted on our Twitter. Link down in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, we've got 100,000 followers over on Twitter, 100,000 of you guys are part of the Crypto Busy family over there. So it would be great to see you guys over there as well. We've got some extra content and a bit sort of a bit further and, and more instant uh, interaction with you guys over on our Twitter, which is always great fun. Um, so... The first one really is Rolling Thunders. Um, so it's a Zilliqa spin-off. Uh, it's, it's, it's gaming division into Rolling Thunders, um, a standalone Web3 gaming and hardware company that leverages unique capabilities of blockchain and high quality uh, gameplay. Uh, so that's something that they um, sort of... Uh, what happened last year uh, and i think of the also the year before is that uh, zilliqa branched off into um, going into the gaming sector into the metaverse and that did pump uh, zilliqa's price you could actually see what happened with that announcement um you saw here look at it it went from about uh 3 3.8 cents all the way up to about 18 cents and that was just off the announcements that they're going into the metaverse uh, they're going into gaming which is a big big industry it's huge it's fast uh, which is amazing to see uh, for zilliqa and then also the ecosystem that comes with that because they were in other areas as well beforehand um, trying to create some form of central bank digital currency or facilitate the technology for that but they're looking into um, getting into the gaming sector which is a big thing so you can see here rolling thunders um, yeah it's, it's getting into it. it's building games and hardware on web3 which is really cool to see um, so that's the first update. Uh, the second update that I have for you guys, again, sort of going further into this, is the spin out uh, of Rolling Thunders is a template for incubating high performance businesses at Zilliqa. Um, so you can see here, this is the interim CEO, uh, Matt Dyer, um, a really cool guy. I think we're going to be meeting him next week at AIBC. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, so you can check out his blog interview highlights with, uh, the, with the CEO himself. That is vision for Rolling Thunders. Really cool stuff that's happening there over at Zilliqa. And again, you know, as I said, uh, the gaming industry is a multi-billion dollar a year industry. 
going further into that um you know web3 war uh, version one uh launch date reveals that is also a, a game that's going to be built within the zilliqa ecosystem so it's some really exciting stuff that's happening over there you can join the beta right now um something i also want to mention just to sort of a quick caveat and to make sure that i mentioned this as well is that none of this is sponsored you know we really love what zilliqa is doing here uh, within the crypto industry and we just love talking about you know uh, the projects itself and what they're going to be doing uh, and also you guys love the zilliqa update so we want to provide that to you guys as as many times as possible as as much as we can um and that, that's a big thing that i want to make sure that i've mentioned again i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is just the research that they've done here uh, and then on top of that investments can go down as well as up so look into that when looking into investing be aware of the risks involved but uh with zilliqa of course there's always gonna be that there's always gonna be that going to be there because it's in crypto itself um but yeah do your own research when it comes into these sort of things because it's really, really important. So the version one will be officially released on March 31st uh, this year, which is great to see completely blockchain powered features such as uh, cosmetic, uh, cosmetic uh, skins, NFTs, which I think is a really cool integration into uh, the gaming uh, or the game itself, which is really cool. So uh, yeah, after 20 open betas, um, we just want to thank you for the support. And you can see here much of the detail with the Zilliqa Gaming. Really cool. Um, and I think it's something a little bit different to compare to other cryptocurrencies that are out there at the moment. Um, you know, lots of cryptocurrencies trying to solve the cross-border payments which is good to see but also there are different sectors out there which need to be tackled and solved uh, which what crypto can do and provide um, some extra updates as well so millions of zilliqa tokens have been bought by biggest bnb whale ahead of this release again um there are going to be some whales out there so just be aware of that so apparently 1.5 million dollars worth of zilliqa so 54 million zilliqa tokens which is absolutely insane um but yeah uh, whales frequently um you know accumulate anything you know when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency they will they will you know accumulate bitcoin ethereum and sometimes also zilliqa as well it's just part of the game unfortunately fortunately sometimes it works out to people's favor in terms of the retail investors because again if a whale goes into a particular cryptocurrency that cryptocurrency then price uh, increases quite a fair amount uh, and then from there the retail investors benefit off that but if uh, on the other hand if they dump a lot then of course then that doesn't work well uh, going further into this again there are also different tokens that are within the ecosystem of zilliqa which is really cool uh, one of them being the luna token um and you can see here that um the luna crush uh, trade um you can see what's happened with that recently um again uh, how do i trade on luna crush trade so luna crush is a bit like uh coin market cap or coin gecko um they are sort of a conglomerate of taking everything that's happening into crypto with a bit of social in there as well, which is really cool to see. So social influence, which is also interesting and what people are talking about on Twitter, what's trending as well. It's a really cool resource to use, uh, which is Lunacrush. Again, not sponsored. We just love talking about what Lunacrush have done in the past. Um, so more recently, looks like you can actually trade on the Lunacrush website itself uh, and they have their own utility token, which is amazing to see. Um, so that's the, the next one there. Uh, and you can see the others as well other sort of uh, ecosystem or other sort of uh, projects within the ecosystem of Zilliqa is the XCAD network. This has been something that's been bandied about for quite some time, actually. Um, again, sort of there's a bit of social in there as well. Um, so if we go to the website, you can see here, uh, it's sort of, you know, the thing for the next uh, sort of generation of, you know, influences and social social fi and all that sort of cool stuff so you can buy the token itself again a utility token um the xcad network is pioneering with uh, the watch to earn revolution for a 2.1 billion act uh, youtube users uh, enabling fans to earn creator token rewards uh, for their favorite creator so um again trying to you know, differentiate between what the creator can earn versus the uh, versus different platforms um and sometimes on some platforms you can or the creator themselves um can be absolutely hammered by the percentages that the platform would um, you know place on them but uh, with xcad network is a little bit different um you get more of an interaction between the uh, the fan and the creator it's a really cool th uh, concept as well uh, so that's another one that's within the ecosystem of zilliqa so i'll leave this article linked down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail about the xcad network um and also it's hit a new milestone which is amazing to see um which is really really cool so there you go that, that's again that's another update happening there um then there's also the governance zil uh, token again this is again within the ecosystem 
from Mozilla. You can see here when looking at the contracts, um, you can see that uh, yeah, there's, there's the Zilliqa blockchain itself, uh, which is again the blockchain itself for Zilliqa is a really cool concept. Um, now it was at the time one of the first that pioneered this concept called sharding, and sharding is where you the idea is that you split up. You split up the blockchain into infinite amount. And then in theory, you can run an infinite amount of transactions within that blockchain, uh, solving a lot of scalability issues and uh, solving the biggest issue, which is bloating on the blockchain. So what happens is, Think of a, a funnel um, where you have millions of transactions happening onto a blockchain, sort of from the top, from the top down pyramid, millions of transactions going in. It's going to take a lot, uh, a lot of time for those transactions to be verified, be processed, um, and then eventually sent. And that is a big issue when it comes to Ethereum, sometimes Bitcoin as well. The, the networks can get a little bit bloated and then um, to transfer capital from one place to another can become very, very slow, sometimes taking half an hour, in some cases a bit longer than that. And that is not a good position to be in for uh, crypto because crypto is trying to get away from slow transaction speeds. We're trying to get into the fast transaction speeds and that is what Zilliqa is building as ecosystem around fast transaction speeds, um, solving a lot of issues when it comes to scalability and uh, being that blockchain available and ready for when millions of people get involved in that space. So it's a really cool concept. And I think, again, one of the first to pioneer that, uh, that type of technology, which is an insane to see. Fishing governance on Zilliqa, an important vote was passed to decrease the uh, quorum needed for, uh, for passing votes on Zilliqa its governance pl uh, platform and it's now at 8%. Um, so, so again, some extra information is there for you guys as well. Some of the stats as well, um, 5 million addresses on Zilliqa by the end of March. That is also crazy to see. It's nearly 5 million um, addresses. So essentially, the more addresses you see, usually that means the more people that are getting involved in the ecosystem of Zilliqa. That is also a big thing. Um, so again, many more updates that's happening with this. You can see this thread that we have over on our Twitter. I'll leave it linked down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in March of the details some really cool stuff again getting further into the gaming sector um, and then branching out into other areas as well forming those partnerships and that is a big thing when it comes to looking into a project so something we've always said here at crypto busy is that when you have a look at a project let's take zilliqa for example look at the team look at the white paper look at the roadmap uh, and look at the the community that is also a big thing and then ultimately look at the partnerships because in a way, sort of don't don't take my word for it. Take other people, other companies that have looked into the project itself, maybe done some more talks with the team themselves directly, um, and then said, yeah, okay, everything checks out, everything looks good, let's form a partnership. That is a big thing, especially for a cryptocurrency. Uh, you see others out there, such as Sandbox, they partnered with HSBC a few years ago. That is also a big thing. So partnerships like that is a big thing for uh, a crypto project, especially right now, especially during the crypto winter, during the bear market, uh, it's an important thing for anybody to have those sort of partnerships because if you're building on your ecosystem right now if you're building on your project right now then it's going to pay in dividends later on down the line for uh, whether it be the next bull run or just you know sort of establishing yourself within the space that is a big thing so those are the latest updates with Zilliqa. In terms of the price action, again, I think most of it will be affected by Bitcoin's price in the medium term. Uh, in the longer term, the partnership that they're forming right now, the ecosystem that, that is expanding right now, I think will pay in the future. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's where I think things are going to be going for Zilliqa. Um, I said in the past, I think it has an ability to go to $1, potentially higher than that, but it's not going to happen this year. And it probably won't happen for the first half of next year. This is going to be sort of a next bull run slash post next bull run uh, type of timeline. So have a really long term perspective when it comes to Zilliqa, when it comes to crypto in general, because we are sort of a very young space, very immature young space. And what we're doing right now is building um, that future for what we can be in the future. So those are my thoughts. If I've missed out on anything, do comment down below uh, your thoughts and opinions, and I'm happy to clarify anything in the comment section below. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos about Zilliqa, about the crypto markets, and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. My name is Tom, this is Crypto Busy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.